That's working really well. Oh, Jimmy got to oh, take oh, up. Oh, Jimmy. Contact. And around oh, goes Bernard into the wall. <laughs> Taking cars with him. Clear, clear, clear. All clear. Yeah. Big wreck. You got it. Well, I'm just wondering, did that suck the back end of the car around on Menard, or did they make contact that turned him around? When the 48 gets on your bumper like that, it probably was had something to do with it. Four cars were out in front of that melee. My, my, my. Hey, Jimmy just got a run. Went to side drop the left rear of the 21 Paul Menard. I don't know if Paul came down a little bit, but they just they got too close and, and hit. Paul never moved. It looked like it sucked, it looked like it sucked Jimmy into him. He just I think he made a miscalculation there. Yeah, he's, Menard comes off the wall a little bit. It just just you know a, a, a misjudgment. Yeah. And made contact, turned him around. Look at all, I mean, look at that. That's a lot of wrecked race cars. That's the world's fastest wrecking yard right oh there. Oh my gosh, Mike. That's some, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that. Look at Alex Bowman in the 88, hard on the brakes. He's gonna get through this. I'm not sure how, but he did. Well, he's the only one. Yeah. Hmm. And we'll ride with Jamie McMurray next. Yeah, Jamie actually made it through there. But unfortunately, he got hit from behind. Paul Menard has just walked out as well. Wow, what happened? Not really sure. Um, I have to see a replay. I, you know, Jimmy pulled out. I kind of moved go. down. Yeah, I moved down a little bit. And next thing I know, I'm just getting turned in the left rear. So, um, yeah, just aggressive. Yeah, okay. It's uh, Jimmy does that a lot at these tracks, so it's unfortunate. Um, had a really fast uh, motorcraft, quick lane, Ford Mustang, uh, led a lot of laps, and uh, bone new tore up a car for no reason. Good indication of what we could see Thursday and next Sunday. Yeah, I mean, all temperature dependent. I think um, you know, if it hopefully it's hot and sunny, and then it, we start sliding around, and you won't see us, uh, you know, just migrating to the fast lane. Ho hopefully, do a little more racing, but yeah, I mean, it sucks that. Uh, you know, the aggressive side drafting caused that big old crash. Thanks, Paul. There is your winner of the clash of 2019. Due to the heavy rain, the race has been called. It's official. Jimmy Johnson is your winner. You know, a year ago, somebody got in the rear bumper him on the on that final the last back lap. straightaway, last yep. lap, turned him around. And uh, this year, he's on the other end of it. It's the first time in the last eight clashes that Johnson is running at the finish all the way to victory lane. Yeah, I mean, you hate to see what happened to Paul Menard. And, and it, it certainly, Jimmy felt like he had a move, and it was time. We, we saw the rain coming. I'm sure the teams were telling the rain was coming. You make an aggressive move, and, uh, you know, these kind of – we saw it last year in the Daytona 500. You know, the same thing happened to the guy leading the race in the 500 last year. Here's what happened in the back straightaway. Jimmy Johnson gets into Paul Menard, who goes around, collects most of the field, and Johnson wins the clash. Come on, high, come on, high. Clear, clear, clear. All clear. Walking into victory lane isn't exactly what Jimmy Johnson had in mind when uh, he was hoping to win the clash today, but victory lane is victory lane. Congratulations 
You won the clash. How's it feel to be back in victory lane? Uh, feels good. Don't let this race car run you over on its way in. Uh, just, just really happy about, um, you know, obviously, a, a great day for Hendrick Motorsports, for Chevrolet, for Ally, um, coming on board and qualifying third for the Daytona 500, and then to win the clash. Kevin Mendering leading this team. You know, there's been a lot of new things going on. I'm um, extremely excited to win. Uh, I want to say hello to my family back home, especially to Lydia. She's been wanting Daddy to win pretty bad. So uh, it's not a points race, but it's a good start. There's so much talk about the, the split between you and Chad. The irony of Chad winning the pole with uh, William Byron today and you winning the race with your new crew chief, Kevin Mendering. I think the two of you might be okay, you know, without one another. Yeah, you're right. I hadn't thought about that exactly, but uh, I, I did I did mention to Chad that he was able to win me my first pole here for the 500 and did the same for William. Really happy for those guys. Uh, but this group of ally, um, ally team members I have behind me, these guys have been working so hard, and uh, we're off to a great start this year. Congratulations. Jimmy Johnson back in victory lane. He's won the clash at Daytona.